Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do the detailed FAQ on the OnePlus Nord. So OnePlus Nord has been launched in India starting a price of 24999. Uh, that variant uh, is the base variant and it goes up to 29999. That's the 12 gigs of RAM variant. Now we're going to uh, talk about the FAQ. So we've got a lot of questions on this device. So we'll be doing the detailed FAQ uh, just like we do for other devices as well. It will be around a 20 point FAQ. Uh, we'll try to answer all your questions. So in case you still have any questions, you can always drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out. So let's get started. First step, the design and build quality. Now, a lot of you have been asking us about uh, how good is the build quality. Now, the back panel comes with uh, a glass finishing, but uh, the body or rather the frame is a plastic frame unlike uh, uh, the metal chassis on the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. What we came to know is that this is more of a plastic frame and the back panel is glass and uh, as always the display is again glass uh, protected by Corning Gorilla Glass. So that's the, the build quality. Now display you can see that this has an, uh, a fluid AMOLED display, it's an AMOLED display and uh, it's a very uh, good display. We, we have a 90Hz refresh rate, it's very smooth to use. So no issues in the display and the viewing angles are excellent. And uh, again, uh, there is Gorilla Glass 5 support. So you are protected with uh, all the basic things. So and the display quality definitely looks good. Now next uh, is the SIM card. So there are two SIM card slots uh, available, but there is no SD card support on this device. So as usual, uh, but if you are using uh, the 64 gigs of uh, storage variant, then you have to consider that uh, there is no slot for expansion. So, so you have to leave with the 64 gigs of storage being offered. Now this device has a UFS 2.1 support. There is no 3.0 like the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. So it is a UFS 2.1. Now next is the software. So this device comes with the Oxygen OS. So just taking the Oxygen OS, so you can see this is the Oxygen OS. So it's uh, quite similar to what we've seen on any OnePlus devices. So no major change. You can see that it has uh, 12 gigs of RAM, 12, uh, 256 gigs of storage. Now uh, Oxygen OS is 10.5. And uh, if you look at uh, the options, you can see there are lots of options included. Say for example, if you have customization, uh, we have the lock screen customization, system customization, accent, color, tone, uh, then uh, fingerprint uh, customization, uh, the, nav uh, the animations can be customized. So a lot of customization options are there. You have the gesture control, uh, the quick gestures, navigational bar gestures. Then uh, additional features include parallel apps. So that's the dual apps functionality. Then app locker is there, uh, then pocket mode. So it is a well uh, uh, feature rich uh, UI on the Oxygen OS and uh, you don't miss out anything on the OnePlus Nord. Now talking about the performance, so this device uh, has uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset and uh, it's a very smooth uh, UI in terms of performance, no lags whatsoever. The 765 is a pretty good chipset, it also supports 5G, so even in India it supports 5G although the network is not ready here, it does support 5G and uh, the performance overall is very smooth, you can see there are no lags uh, and uh, the 90Hz refresh rate definitely helps in that as well. Now uh, this device uh, is again quite good for gaming as well. We have done a detailed gaming video. You can check out that video to see how good the gaming experience is. It does not have uh, smooth and extreme like options but then uh, it uh, performs quite well without any sort of heating issues. Now next uh, is the LED notification. So we'll just connect this device to a charger and I will just see if there are any notifications. So you can see here there are no LED notifications available on this device. So you have to live with uh, uh, a device where there is no LED notification. But then uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, notifications on the display. That is something which uh, you can use. So that's the uh, no, not LED notification on the OnePlus Nord. Now next uh, is uh, the fingerprint scanner and the face unlock. So the fingerprint scanner is uh, quite fast. You can see that uh, right now we are testing the fingerprint scanner and it is fast and responsive as well. No lags here. So it's quite similar to what we've seen on the other OnePlus devices as well. Now regarding the face unlock, uh, we did uh, have quite a decent performance to the face unlock. But here and there, a uh, few misses were there. Uh, we are not really sure if it is some kind of software glitch. But uh, it was quite responsive. But again, not the OnePlus regular OnePlus uh, standards where we have seen on the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus. Uh, 8 uh, but here again uh, some minor hiccups were there in the face unlock but overall uh, once it recognizes it unlocks uh, quite fast now next uh, is uh, the usb otg functionality yes this device has usb otg uh, similar to any oneplus devices 
uh, there is USB OTG functionality on this device as well. Now next uh, is the sensor. So we'll just have a look at the sensors available. So you can see accelerometer, light sensor, orientation, proximity, gyroscope, sound, uh, magnetic and uh, uh, all the basic sensors are included on the OnePlus Nord. So it does not miss out on any basic sensors. Now next is the battery. So it has a 14, uh, 41-1500 uh, mAh capacity battery and uh, it also supports warp 30T charging. So we have done a charging test. It can charge the device in around 70 minutes, uh, 70 odd minutes it takes to charge the device. And uh, the battery performance is uh, very good on this device. Uh, again, we could get around uh, four and a half to five hours of screen on time based on our usage. So again, it uh, depends upon person to person. We used uh, mainly for camera and gaming. So it again depends on person to person how much battery life or how much screen on time you get. But in, on an average, you can expect anywhere uh, between four to five hours. So that's what uh, uh, we feel uh, about the uh, screen on time of this device. Now next is a Widewine L1 support. So we'll just uh, open the DRM info app and you can see that the uh, Widewine L1 is supported on this device. So you can play content in HD from the OTT platforms. Now uh, next is one of the most important aspects, the camera to APA. So many people might be uh, interested in trying out uh, the Gcam. So we'll just uh, see this. You can see that there's level three support. That means uh, everything is supported. Uh, there is uh, full support on the OnePlus Nord in terms of camera to APA. So you can install uh, the Gcam and try uh, taking captures with uh, the Google uh, uh, camera app, Gcam app. Now voice over Wi-Fi, that's another important thing. Now if you go to the settings uh, and uh, if you go to the Wi-Fi and network, uh, SIM card, uh, then uh, see here, you can see that uh, Volti Wi-Fi calling is there and you can set the preference to call over Wi-Fi. So there is voice over Wi-Fi available for Airtel as well as Geo SIM cards. Now next let's talk about the cameras. So this device comes with a quad way camera. So it has a 48 megapixel primary sensor and uh, the primary sensor is a Sony IMX586 sensor, which we have seen on the OnePlus 8 as well. So it has optical image stabilization. Then uh, you get an eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera, five megapixel macro sensor and a two megapixel depth sensor. And the front camera is a dual selfie camera. You get IMX616 sensor and it's a 32 megapixel sensor along with an eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera. So we have done a detailed camera review of this device. You can also check out that video to get an idea about how good the camera qualities are. So here are some samples we have taken. Uh, but uh, if you want to see more of uh, OnePlus Nord camera, do check out our camera review where we have done all the detailed aspects about the camera. Now next is the colors available. So it comes in two colors. Uh, we have the blue marble, the one which we have right now and the gray onyx. Uh, so th this is the gray color and the blue color. So those are two colors available. And uh, then uh, now next uh, is the pricing. So this device pricing starts at uh, 664 GB variant uh, is priced around uh, 24 triple nine. That will be available in September. We are not really sure about the dates. Then uh, you get uh, 8 gigabyte ram and 128 gigabyte storage price at 27 triple nine and you get 12 gigs of ram and uh, 256 gigs of storage available at 29 triple nine those those are the three variants available for the one plus nord now the things about the one plus nord is that it has lpddr4x ram and uh, it comes with uh, super linear speakers as well then uh, uh, many have been asking us whether there is uh, DTS or Dolby uh, sound system. Uh, there are no uh, Dolby support, uh, so there is nothing. Uh, it's a regular speaker, and, and we'll just uh, test the speaker quality here. So that is the speaker output. Uh, it's definitely loud enough uh, for most of the users, but it may not be the loudest out there and the sound quality definitely looks good from the bottom firing speakers. Now, finally, the availability. So this device uh, will be available on Amazon starting August 4th. So that's the date uh, this device will be available. So uh, it will be available on Amazon as usual. So that is a detailed FAQ on the OnePlus Nord. Hope uh, this was useful. So if you still have any doubts, you can just uh, ask us in the comment section and uh, we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So this is normal signing off with uh, the FAQs on the OnePlus Nord. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.